G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to restore something. I'm not really into restoring as you know if you watch this channel a lot, but today, let's take the plunge. Five, four, three, two, one. Only is go. <laughs> so what's that there behind me you might ask? That is a 1981 Mongoose Moto Mag frame, which I've had for a little bit. And today we're going to take it right back to factory specs. As it came out of the factory, how every kid wanted one, how every kid raced one. So we drag it down. I'll show you what we've got. I need a bit of cleaning up on it. So it's in kind of survivor condition. Survivor. And we're going to bring it back to brand new factory as it would have come out of the box or your bike dealer. All right. So sadly, this thing doesn't have any of its original stickers. Well, it has one. I don't know if you can see it there. Um, it's got its chrome wally sticker um, but it's definitely an 81 it's a to be exact it's March 1981 build according to the serial number seats not original I'm guessing the chains original but I might have some stickers for it later so I don't know if you can see it on the camera but it looks like it was painted silver at some stage and as you can see it's completely rust free it's got no marks or dents in the frame at all so it's near perfect apart from that silver paint. It's not chrome, it's nickel plated. Um, so I might just get some paint stripper and uh, see what we can take off and not hurt that sticker. You guys, I met my buff-headed dog Blue before, eh? I'm pretty sure I introduced him. But yeah, that's Blue. Loves the water. Anyway, that's taken off pretty much all of that um, paint. So we're ready to uh, keep restoring. So over the years, a lot of those parts that came off that bike and other genuine moto mags found their way onto other bikes. And here's a classic example right here. Look at all of the original mongoose moto mag parts on this girl's dragster well we're going to sort that out right now aren't we how you going stupid oh nice So let's start stripping off these highly collectible mongoose, genuine mongoose um, moto mag parts off this dragster. Unfortunately, the bell's seen better days. I'm not going to use this front fender 
that's not original. I have some original fenders that I will put on it. this thing it's got the wrong sissy bar but the seat's the right seat so we'll grab that and it's got the right reflector as well righto so I'm just fitting up the uh, original mud guard to these factory racing forks it's um, a lot better condition than that other one that's one I've put aside that I scored at for the right price. The old uh, BMX scene is quite uh, dog eat dog out there, so you've got to be Johnny on the spot when these kind of parts come up. And I was lucky enough to get this one at the right price, and the rear one as a set actually. Righto, so I thought at the time I'd get my professional bike holding stand out, as we are working on a very expensive bike, very rare bike. Um, you want to do this properly. So, first things first, we need to make sure that the insides of the bearing surfaces are clean. We're going to insert these forks with a little bit of grease. So, let's have a look at that. So, upon inspection, there's no rust or dirt in them. Um, they look brand new. So, you just want to add some bearing grease in there, top and bottom. And um, you're ready to put the forks in. Uh, like I said, I've got them as a set. You have the original Moto Mag rear fender with the double reflectors, as you can see. And uh, we'll chuck that on right now. And you might say, Paul, how are you going to mount your rear brakes? Because I'm using what they some people believe is a brake stay up the top here. It's actually for your mud guard because these all came out with back pedal brakes, so don't let people fool you and dish you for your original Mongoose Moto Mag because they don't know what they're talking about. And as you can see now, it's starting to look like the iconic Moto Mag from the old BMX days at the racetrack. Right, I've just fitted up the factory front wheel, which I got off that donor bike. It's been rescued, um, and it still has the original Mongoose Moto Mag front tyre on it, and it holds air, which is pretty good. So I just tighten these up. I didn't intend to film that, but um, I did hit record. But I'm sure you get the point. I was talking away to nobody. Do that a bit. Okay, front wheel on. Looks good, doesn't it? Let's chuck on the handlebars. Nice and high. Hey in there. Yeah, there I reckon. Come on. I wonder what Billy Joel's doing at the moment. Righto. Nice and tight. That's fine. We're getting a bit front heavy so we'll start working on the rear end. How's that sound? Like I mentioned to you before, the Moto Mag in 1981 came standard with back pedal brakes. So we have the original Moto Mag wheel with back pedal brakes. And I'll tell you another interesting fact is to put these mud guard stays on. 
people get excited about the uh, the original mongoose seat bracket clamp. Well, that's nothing. If you want to pay the big bucks, let me show you. Two seconds. It's worth the wait. Original mongoose stamped. Look at it, you can see it. Mongoose stamped back brake bracket stay. Say that fast ten times. Whew, big bucks here. Big bucks. I'm fitting that right now. But I'm not gonna tighten it because I haven't got a chain on there yet. We need to adjust that up. Put this on. A little bit of rubbish in the tyre. But the beauty thing about that, it sounds like a motorbike. It's kind of the factory option footy card, you know? Old footy card and peg in the spokes. That's it, beautiful. Righto. Let's look at a seat, hey? So, one of the um, probably hardest to find genuine early era mongoose items in good condition is a seat and um, I was lucky enough to come across one it's block new so yeah the genuine moto mag seat um, don't ask me how much I paid for this but it's not a mongoose without one of these Sissy bar, stand by. So a lot of people pulled these off um, when they were racing them, or use shorter versions. Um, so they're hard to find, and uh, this one's a bit rusty, but it's OG Moto Mag, and uh, we'll fit that up now. I don't know if I apologise before, but I apologise for the wind. And I do get a bit of wind every now and then. So my apologies. So crank and chain, and we can ride this thing, but there are some finishing touches I want to put on this before we take it out on the street for the first time in 70 years. I don't know. But you're going to have to wait for that. Let's put the crank in, hey? So like with the steering head bearings, you want to make sure that that surface is clean, rust free, no dirt. So that's all right to go now, so we'll chuck some grease in there, and then we can chuck our crank in. Righto, before we take this restored wonder for a ride, there's a couple of things we've got to add. And the first one is the, um, the sissy bar pad. I only have had one, so that went on this side, on the right side. There you go. Looking familiar. And then finally, Moto Mag sticker. Goes right there. 